All right. Hello, everybody. Grab a big stick. Walk softly and carry a big stick, as they say. So grab it. It doesn't matter. It could be a broom. I've got a nice little dowel here. See, some people have foam, like those uh, water water pools. Holy smoke, Scott's got like a gigantic stick. Look at that. He could take somebody out with that thing. Wow. Okay, so it doesn't matter. We can play, you know, we can play like a guitar if you want to, you know, whatever you want to do. So we're going to have some fun with the sticks. There we go. There's wonderful. We got Ken and Sylvia. Dennis is here. Hello, Dennis. Scott Elspeth is here. Joanne. Hello, this Sandy down in Nanaimo. Shirley, my drumming buddy from the mainland. Hello, Sarah. Sarah's back. Tim's here. Hello, Ray. I like that sweatshirt. That's a nice color. Good. Hello, Craig. Nice to see you. And we got Edward, or is it Ed? Ed, we're gonna go with Ed. Hi, Ed. And Diane Bolton. Diane sent me a lovely message the other day. Thank you, Diane. There's my buddy Vicky, Supergirl. Nice to see you, Vicky. Hello, Dan. Nice to see you. And we got Monica. And Monica's with somebody else too. It's not just one. Hello. Good. That's Todd. <laughs> Todd. Welcome. <laughs> Wonderful. Welcome, welcome. Hello, Donna. How are you doing? And we've got Rav. Wonderful. And Gills. Gills. I'm hoping I'm saying that right. Oh, and Bo. Bo Hackinson, my buddy from Nanaimo. I haven't seen Bo for a while. Wonderful. Nick Smith. Welcome, Nick. Who else we got here today? I can't quite see those bottom ones, unfortunately. Oh, we've got Dow, my Diane Bolton, of course. Sat, I think it's Sat, Sat, Satman, Satman. Sorry, my eye, I need my need glasses. This is terrible. Anyways, welcome everybody. It's nice to see you. Let's grab our stick and let's just start with a little twist here. We'll get a feeling for how you're, how you're feeling today. So I want to start nice wide legs. Yeah, if I missed anybody, I'm sorry. I just wanted to touch base with everybody there. Good. Nice big twist around. I'm just going to move my picture in the middle there so I can see where I am. Oh, there you go. All right. So remember, Rule of thumb with all these exercises. We're going for big movements, big movements. So you might want to start off a little small and then as you, as you start to loosen up, you can go a little bigger. But always be aware, especially when we're doing any twisting exercises, don't twist your joint like a knee. You, know, you want to be safe here. We're going to transfer that stick into one hand like this. And now we're going to go all the way around. Big, big circle around. That's it. So it appears that spring is finally coming, folks. That's the good news. We got sunshine on the way. And we need it. I need a little sunshine, a little warmth. Good. Spinning that around. Excellent. We're going to switch hands. Open that up. That's it. Yes. We're gonna go back to our other hand and I want you to go up and then down like that. So drive it up and across the body, just like so. Good. So I'm bending my legs a little bit here. Just gonna let one person in here. Bending those legs right there, bend and drive it up, power it up. Big push. Exaggerate your movements, that's what we're after. And the other arm, come from the other side. Come from away. Good, drive that up. The other hand, you can rest on your hip or you can keep it out here, whatever, whatever feels good. Doesn't matter. We're just twisting up. Waking this, waking our bodies up. Hopefully everybody's timed their medication perfectly. And you feel really, uh, feel really good. That little echo there. That was exciting. <laughs> Let's go palms up like this when you stick. Okay, How about hip width apart. This time, stay relaxed and we're gonna bring it up and over, bend those, Bend the hands behind your head, if you can, if your shoulders will allow. 
Again, you want nice and wide foot stand, so you're very balanced. I always want to be aware of your feet. Make sure you've got a wide stance, so you give your chance, give yourself the best chance to stay upright on your feet, especially if you're going to be bumped or you ever been on a bus where you, you know, you're standing on a bus and you, you have to stand, there's no seats available and you're trying to hang on and, and you, you go like this. So what do you do? You get your feet out as about as wide as you can, right? Well, so that's a good, good lesson to remember those days. Right? Yeah, I'm sure you guys have all been on a sky train or on a bus and you got to get nice and wide. Okay, let's put those palms back on top of the stick. And now we're going to do this. We're going to bring it, the stick out to your right hip, and we're going to twist up and through like so. Just like that. <clears throat> Down and up. Twist it on through. All the way up. Again, big movements. So you want to feel those arms getting a nice full stretch. Stretch it all the way up. You got it. You got it. Good. Let's take it to the other side now. Left hip and up. Left hip and up. That's it. Reach up. Doesn't take long. You start to feel your body warming up. You might feel a little, little heated all of a sudden. Boy, how'd that happen? <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Feel your heart rate come up a little bit. Okay, let's get the legs and the, the upper body combined a little bit here. Make sure you've got some room around you. We're gonna take that stick in your right hand and you're gonna push it forward and back like that. But as you do that, step back with your right foot. So combine. So drive it out, power it out, step back at the same time, like that. Step back. Watch your balance. If need be, you can always hold on to a chair, just like that. That's a nice way to do this. It's quite a dynamic movement, a lot of power here. Drive it. And it's up to you. You can make this exercise class easy or hard. It's entirely up to you how hard you go through all these different motions. This one's a bit of coordinated movement. You've got to push forward as you step back. So there's a little bit of combination here. Going forward. Good. Let's change arms and change legs. So left foot stepping back as my left arm goes forward. You got it, you got it. That's it, drive that forward. Drive it forward. Good. So it's kind of hard to, you might have a bit of difficulty trying to get that coordination. So as your foot drives forward, step back at the same time. Arm goes forward, foot goes back. Good, excellent. Looking good, guy. So that's a little bit of dual tasking or multitasking where you're asking your upper body and lower body to do two different things. Okay, looking at straight on at me, put the stick in your right hand, bring it across, you know, to the left side of your belly and we're gonna step out like this, I'll back up. Step out and open that arm up like that. We used to call it the ta-da movement. You go, ta-da! <laughs> I don't know why. Ta-da! Again, we got some coordination going on here. I apologize for that. It's almost like a dance move, isn't it? Yeah, it's a dance move. Life is a dance. Big step. Starting here, step out, back in. Step out, step in. Keep that little pattern going. Okay, let's take it to the other side. Bring that stick across, open and close. Step out, step in. Step out, step in. You got it. Good. So these are also good for balance. You're shifting your weight, taking a step. Anytime you take a, a step, you're working on improving your balance, your postural reflexes. If you do this enough, your, body, your brain remembers, right? So if you get jostled, look at that. If you get bumped, you can get your foot out there and catch yourself. That's what we want. Quicker reaction times. Yes. 
We're going to play a little game in a sec, a little balance game, where you have to listen to an auditory cue. And the auditory cue will be me telling you what direction to go in. We'll do that in a sec. So your brain has to figure it out. Okay, before we do that, let's warm up these hip flexors by getting these knees lifting up nice and high, okay? Side to side. Good. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna stand with our feet together. I'm gonna say forward, side, or back. And that's what you're gonna do. Okay, so like this. So just, you're just gonna, you can just hold your stick at your side. Now your feet are side by side. I'm just gonna drop this down a tiny bit. There we go, sliding on down. Now you can see my feet, good. If I say forward, you go like this. And then you come back. If I say side, you go like this. And you come back. If I say reverse or back, just like that. We're gonna do just, just our right foot to start with, okay? Just your right foot. Okay, well, let's do it, it's easy. So if I say forward, step, and then come back. Wait for the next response. Side. Reverse. Or I should say back. Okay, forward. Back. Back. Side. Forward. Forward. Back. Forward. Side. Side. And stop. Try your left foot, okay? Side. Back. Back. Forward. Forward. Side. Forward. Back. Back. Side and forward. Okay, now I'm gonna say right forward, side back, or left forward, side or back. So now you gotta figure out which side is gonna be doing it. So I'm gonna say left forward, right back, left side, right side, left forward, right forward. Left back, right back, right side, left forward. Okay, now I'm gonna keep doing it, but I'm not gonna move. <laughs> so you don't get to copy me. You just have to hear what I'm saying and just do it, okay? Right forward, left side, left back, right forward. Right forward, right back, right side, left side, right and left forward. No, that was, that was a trick. Don't, don't jump forward. I'm just kidding. All right, let's put those sticks away. Put those sticks away. Well done, you guys. Well done. I'm wondering if you found it. Did you give me a thumbs up if you found it harder when I wasn't moving? Did you find that harder when I wasn't moving? When I'm just telling you what to do? Yeah, and then your brain has to do extra work. No longer getting the visual cues, just auditory cues. That's so a little bit different. Okay. Congratulations, Doug. Oh, thank you. On I your you. award from, from Parkinson's BC for Above and Beyond. Thank you very much. Thank you. I was, I was talking to Shelly just before this and I said, I don't like to be the center of attention. So, so I said, um, but I, it was very, very um, humbling. It was very, very, not very nice award. And I was happy that I was able to, to go to the meeting on Saturday and, and, and accept the award. It was wonderful. So thank you very much. I appreciate you guys. Thank you. Okay, let's warm these shoulders up. Good. Like we're washing the window. Wash the window. And reverse. When we do some boxing, we really use our shoulders, you know, so we want to warm these guys up. Yes. Now let's do one of the couple of the power move exercises. So we're going to do this. We're going to shift our weight side to side 
And as you shift, let's just start with that, okay? Just shifting side to side and feel your heels lifting. This is one to practice all the time. Just practice shifting that weight and trust yourself. You should get to the point where it doesn't feel scary to do this, right? You should feel just fine. Your body knows you're not gonna keep going, right? You're gonna stop. So if you practice the shifting, it's so good. But let's add one more little element that'll make it a power move exercise. We're gonna do our, our best John Travolta Saturday Night Fever dance move. It looks like this. We go up like that and like that. Stay alive, stay alive. Uh, uh, uh. They didn't give me an award for singing, did they? No, that's right, sorry. No singing award. <laughs> there we go, so really stretch that up. Stretching, I'm still doing my side to side. I'm touching my toe, I'm lifting that heel. Side to side we go. Yes. Excellent. And you can even lift that foot right up if you feel really. So see how I'm making a straight line down, straight line all the way down. Good. Pausing there. This next one's a little bit tricky to get just right. We're going to start with our arms out here. This is a power twist. We're going to twist to the left. Open. Twist to the right. Open. Twist to the left. Open. Again, you're going to lift that heel, twist the ankle. That's it. Lovely, lovely. And we'll pause there. One more power move, it's called a power up. We're gonna take our hands down, kind of, we're kind of bending forward like this, push the backside out and then open up like that. Down and then open. Get those fingers nice and wide. Power up. So this is the opposite of slouching, right? Stand as tall as you can, drive it up, drive it up. Oh yes, that's good. Drive that up, boom, just like that. Yes, very nice, you guys, very nice. There you go. Got one thing in. Two. Last one. Good. Okay, quick break. Have a sip of water. We're going to do a little bit of leg exercises next. So you're going to need your chair. basic exercises you can do that's extremely helpful and it, it's, it's something that they've done in the rocksteady boxing um, classes all across North America they had a little sit to stand challenge so getting up and down from a chair is is you know it's a pretty basic movement but one that we tend to tend to struggle with for various reasons and the primary primary reason would be a loss of strength in the thighs and the, and the muscles that drive you up out of the chair. So that's why it's great to practice things that potentially disappear. Um, getting up and down from a chair, especially if it's like an easy chair, like, a, like, a, like one of those uh, soft ones where you're kind of really sitting low in it, they're quite hard. So a lot of people will start to you know use your hands to kind of help push you up. What I'm gonna encourage you to do right now, we're gonna start in a seated position and we're gonna just basically drive yourself up and reach up overhead and then sit back down, all the way down. Just keep going. So you've got to get a little momentum, rock forward, and stand up. If you can do this without using your hands, congratulations. That's not easy. If you need to use your hands a little bit, that's okay. But you can feel, think about the muscles that you're using right now to lift yourself up. So this is another one of those practice ones. If it hurts your knees, there's a couple things you can do. You can put, you can put like a pillow or something underneath your backside. And that will allow you to not go down quite as far, right? But I find with time, as you, as you sometimes when you build up the strength in your legs, 
then you don't need to. Um, I mean, you find you find that extra little bit of strength. Now, stay down though in your chair. We're going to kick your right leg out and kind of lean back. So I, I, I like to do it like this, kind of like just leaning back like that. But we're going to take that right leg and just lift it up, up and down, straight. Keep it nice and straight. Don't touch the heel down. Just lift up and down like that. Go slow. Try not to touch the heel. And that leg's going to get heavy. And that's what you want. You're going to feel it all through the thigh, up into the hip, the hip flexors. So this is a good little strength in the exercise. Again, it's one of those things you can do every day when you're watching Toronto Maple Leafs make it out of the second, into the second round, which I can't believe they might have a shot at this year. It's unbelievable. So uh, yeah, who knew? Okay. If Toronto makes it to the second round, I have to apologize to a couple of friends who I laughed in their face when they said they were gonna make it. And I said, no way. Okay, let's switch legs. You're probably feeling how heavy that leg gets, right? Try the other side. You can also go out and buy these little ankle weights that fasten around your ankle. Gives you a little bit more resistance, like three pounds. Imagine an extra three pounds. Or if you have a grandkid, you can put them on, you know, hanging on the bottom of your ankle, lift them up. <laughs> That's really hard. I don't recommend that one. Shelly can take her golden retriever and lift them up. Oh boy. Oh, it does not, doesn't take long, right? You start to feel that. Woo! Good stuff. Okay, let's stop that there. Now, sit nice and tall. This time, I'm gonna lift my foot and just extend it out like this. So they make these machines that you hook your foot under and lift, it's called a leg extension. But you don't need anything. You can just, just keep that leg up in the air. And again, you're gonna feel this muscle. I mean, what I love about these two exercises is they generally don't bother your knees too much. Even if you've got a little bit of something going on, like a little arthritis, you can still generally get away with doing these exercises. If it does hurt, use common sense. But I'm hoping you're feeling that. I feel that, oh boy. Other side, take a little break. Tim's probably sore from his 5K still, who knows. <laughs> And that's lift, that's kick that leg up. Just bend the knee, right? That's all we're doing. Try to get that leg as straight as you can. Think about this thigh. You're doing that exercise. You can also use those ankle weights for this exercise as well. Yes, or grandchildren. You can hang on. Horsey ride, it's a horsey ride. <laughs> Very nice. Oh, it doesn't take long, you start to feel it. Feel the pain, feel the pain. It's a good kind of pain. Three, two, one. Okay, and now one more power move exercise. And you sit nice and tall with your hands on your knees. And what we're gonna do is lift this knee up and then out and then bring it back in like that. You wanna really exaggerate that movement. Really lift up and out. Again, that's another move where sometimes we get some weakness happening doesn't allow us to do this. Think of the muscles that are working to cause this action. That's good. So it's good to practice these kind of things. Really get that knee up and over. Really exaggerate that movement. That's a good one. Yes. I'm just kind of showing you these here today. These are easy things you can do every single day. Can't do these enough. I truly believe that. Okay, one more thing while we're sitting down in our chairs. We're gonna lift your leg out straight and we're gonna point that toe. Ankles are so important. We wanna keep those ankles mobile. We're gonna give our ankles some love here. So we're gonna press, I think you're pressing the gas pedal and pulling up. You're gonna work the shin muscle and the calf muscle when you do this. Also, those muscles play a big role in, in, in fall prevention. You have to be able to lift your toe up. When you step forward, you want to lift that toe up so your heel can strike the ground. Now, let's do a circle. Do a circle. And you might notice that you're feeling it in your thigh. Do a circle. Again, that your ankle loves that movement. And the other way, get a nice circle. You want to keep that ankle supple. Okay, and out with the other foot. It's probably ready for a break the other day. Press that gas pedal forward and back. Forward and back, forward and back. 
This is called plantar flexion, dorsiflexion. Plantar flexion, dorsiflexion. So you might've heard of the term like drop foot, when that foot doesn't do this, it doesn't go through this natural range of motion properly, the foot can't come up, it's always in a drop position. So it's good to strengthen these muscles. And let's do that circle before our leg gets too tired. It's like you're drawing a circle with your toe. I start going clockwise, and then I'm gonna go counterclockwise. Make that circle, make that circle. Good, very nice, folks. And pause there. We're gonna slowly get up from behind from our chairs. Stand behind your chairs, please. So come on up. Remember to always get up slowly when you've been sitting or lying down. Our blood pressure tends to drop when we're in a seated or prone lying down position. If you get up too quickly, you're gonna be a little dizzy, and that's when falls can often happen especially when you're dealing with Parkinson's, which often causes blood pressure to drop from the beginning. So, okay, abduction. We've been working on the thighs, the hip flexors. Let's work on the outside of the hips and the glutes. We're gonna do this. We're gonna go out, slowly lift that leg up and go down slowly, in and out slowly. And after you've done a few of these, you're gonna notice that this, your, your, the hip that you're standing on gets tired because it's supporting you. If you can't get way out there, just do, a, just do a little one. That's okay. I'm sure everybody on here today can, can at least do a small lift. Don't try to be like anybody else you see. Just do your own thing. You do you, as, they, as the kids say nowadays. You do you. <laughs> Good. Uh, speaking of me doing me, I'm gonna do the other leg now. I've done that leg. Ease it up. And I can't emphasize this enough. When you lift this leg, don't let your toe turn out like that. You want to keep your toe pointed straight ahead. Then you really get that muscle working. So keep that toe pointing towards me the whole time. That's it. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Really nice. Three, two, one, and done. Now, keeping your hand on the chair, we're going to do a little step back and then the other side. This is up to you how hard you want to make this. So watch what I do from the side. Down, bend, back. If it hurts, if you've got arthritic knees, just make it a little step back in a tiniest little bend. Just do your best, what you've got to work with. That's all we can do. So that's called an alternating reverse lunge. And it's nice to hold on to a chair while you do this because then it becomes about the muscles in your legs, not so much about the balance. Wow, that's great, you guys. Keep going, keep going. A few more. Good, very nice. Okay, coming back up. I'm gonna take my chair, I'm gonna put both hands on my chair. And I want to engage the muscles on the back of the leg. These are called your hamstrings. So here's how I'm gonna do it. Same leg. I'm gonna kick myself on the backside. You know I deserve it. I'm just gonna go ahead and do it to myself. Kick myself on the backside. Here we go. Drive that heel up. Just bend the knee. We're not bending like this. We're just bending at the knee. You're gonna feel your calf muscle down low and your hamstring muscle engage. Keep that going. Engage those muscles. Those muscles don't get enough love back there, the back of the legs. Good, drive that up, drive that up. Okay, I'm gonna switch over to my left leg. Here I go, the old lefty. Yes, yes, yes. Driving that leg up. I'm driving my leg away. Open forward bend again. Oh, sorry, I said I wasn't gonna sing. I broke my, broke my, my word. Terrible, no more singing, Doug. Just around the campfire. You guys can come join me for a campfire sing-along. How about that? Yeah, we'll do some Johnny Cash and George Jones, and I like doing the old country songs. He's Tom loving her today. <laughs> I always become my mom and dad when I, when I sing a campfire song, I do all the old songs. I don't know what happens to me. Hey, 
Let's take a little break, drink of water. We're gonna get our imaginary boxing gloves on and we're gonna go rock steady. We're gonna get some rock steady action happening here. Okay, short break, grab your gloves or your imaginary gloves. He put a wreath upon his gold. Soon they'll carry him away. All right, I'm just setting up the timer here. Here's where we get a little more active. Get into the, the guts of the thing. Yes, yes, yes. And I'm just realizing I'm going to run out of energy here. Hang on one second. Got all right you ready to get your dukes up okay so quick refresher if you're right-handed you've got your left leg out in front right Let's just do a little balance. We're just we'll shuffle, or we just kind of take your weight forward, weight back. You want to have your hands up under your chin. You want to protect your pretty face there. Come on. You don't want to get hit in the face. You got to protect yourself. You're up here like this. So I want to just rock back and forth. Just work the balance for a quick second. Okay. And so if you're right headed, when I say number one or number two, that's a jab and a cross, right? So that's a left jab. Right cross. So we're going to start with that for 30 seconds just to get yourself starting Get yourself going here. Three, two, one, let's go. Left, right. Now look at my right foot. I'm twisting it. Twisting. One, two. One, two. One, two. Full range of motion. Get those arms all the way out there. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two, one, two, nice. One, two, three, two, one. We're gonna do 10 seconds of active rest. We're not gonna stand around. We're gonna do some just 10 seconds of walking or running in between. Just while we're, gives you a chance here. Recover, let's go, second round. Number three, left hook and a four. Three and a four, three. Always bring those hands back up under your chin. Imagine there's someone there that wants to hit you with their gloves. You don't want to get hit. So you got to protect yourself. Three, four. Make sure that left leg's out in front or right leg if you're left handed. If we have any self pause here, self pause. Boom. Hook. Hook. Okay, walk it in place for 10 seconds. Get those arms going. Exaggerate that walk. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, let's practice our uppercut. So that's a five and a six. Left uppercut. Boom. Boom. Get them on the chin. Five, six, five, six, five, six. You got it. Five, six, five, six, five, six, five, six. Five, six. You got it. Five, six, five, six, five, six. Five, six. Five, six, five, six. Good. Walk it in place. Swing those arms. Get those knees up. Now, number seven and number eight are my own little kind of made up ones. These are those back hips. You're going to be like this back hip, back hip. Twist around, twist around. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. You got it. You got it, gang. Looking good, looking good. Right, left, right, left, right. Yes, yes, indeed. Left, right. Good, good. Three, two, one. Lock it in place. Let's start to put some combinations together now. So let's do a one, two, three. So you jab, cross, and a hook. Here we go. One, two, three. 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 Nice. One, two, three. 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 One, two,
two, three. Whoops, I wasn't getting my foot going. Okay, I got to keep telling my brain. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now let's try this for a cardio. We're just gonna bring those heels up side to side. Just like that, back and forth. Lift it up, lift it up. Back and forth we go. All right, let's do a one, one, two, two. So that means we're gonna go double with the left. One, one, two, two. Keep it going. One, one, two, two, one, one, two, two, one, one, two, two, one, one, two, two. Keep it going. One, two, two, one, one, two, two, one. Nice. Looking good. One, two, two. Good. Let's get those heel lifts again, side to side. Keep that going. It's like an old lady in robust mood. I'll have to bring my, my uh, what do you call it, leg warmers next time. Okay, let's do a one, two, five, six. Jab, cross, uppercut, uppercut. One, two, uppercut, uppercut. One, two, uppercut, uppercut. One, two, uppercut, uppercut. One, two, uppercut, uppercut. Yes, two, uppercut. Uppercut, uppercut. One, two, uppercut, uppercut. One, two, uppercut, uppercut. Good. Side shuffle, side steps. I mean, keep the arms going, but step side to side. Keep it going, step it over. Let's do a little extra. Keep going, keep going with this one. Side steps. We're going to do a little more of a side step. Stepping out, stepping out. Whoa, where'd I go? There I am. I'm back, I'm back. Side step, side step. Excellent. One, two. One, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, I'm gonna explain what we're doing for the next one. We're gonna start with your feet together. We're gonna take a big step forward, throw one, two, three, four punches. Step back, go with the right foot, one, two, three, four. Okay, we're starting at five seconds. Four, three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, together, right foot. One, two, three, four. Keep it going. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Good. One, two, three, four. You got it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Good. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Good. Let's get those knees up nice and high now. Nice and high. Here we go. And side to side. There we go. Up we go. We're going to do a one, two, three, a little duck, and then a four, five, six. So we break it up in half. Here we go. One, two, three, duck, four, five, six. Again, one, two, three, duck, right hook, left upper, right upper. Good. One, two, Three, duck. Four, five, six. Or was it a goose? One, two, three, duck. Four, five, six. Okay, good. Just walking, walking, walking. You guys are doing great. Now we're gonna step to the right, throw four punches. Back together, step to the left, four punches. Step to the right, four punches. Step to the left. Four punches. Right. Left. Right. Left. Right. All right, just go for a walk. Do a little circle. Walk around your room. Let's do some reverses now. Four, three, two, one. Right hook, left hook. Right, right, left, two, one, four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Hook, hook, cross, jab. Hook, hook, cross, jab. Hook, hook, cross. Yeah, good, good, good. Okay, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Okay, let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, as fast as you can. Ready? Let's go. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six. 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 Good. Swing those arms. Drive them up, up and down. Get them going nice and powerful. There we go, just like that. A little upper body cardio, just like you got ski poles. Okay, speed bag time. Here we go. Let's go get that speed bag going. Bubba da bubba da bubba da bubba da bubba. You go, oh, look at you guys, you look great. Get those arms going. Nice, 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 nice. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Wonderful, really nice. Looking good, looking good. We're gonna do a little strength cardio move here. Get those feet out really, really wide. And we're gonna reach down to the floor and reach up overhead. If you can't touch the floor, that's okay. Just come close. Keep going, keep going. We're gonna do this one a little bit longer. Working those legs and the backside. That's it, very functional. Take a break if you need it. Anytime you need to rest, go right ahead. Down we go. So it looks like this, you're pushing out and back, right? Don't let those knees go forward. Don't let those knees go forward. Great job. Okay, we're gonna do a reverse speed bag. Got a 10 second break. So instead of going like that, we're gonna go like that. So it's like we're winding in the cord now. Three, two, one, let's go. Woo hoo. Get that going. The harder you push, the better the benefits. But just be reasonable and be safe. Always be safe. Don't push yourself past the point of no return. We don't want that. Oh, that gets tiring on those old shoulders, isn't it? It gets tiring. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Yes. Okay, lock it in place. It's a nice, slow lock. Hey, we're going to do a one, one, three, four, five. One, one, three, four, five. Can you dig it? One, one, three, four, five. Here we go. One, one, three, four, five. One, one, three, four. No, I got that wrong. One, one, three, four, five. One, one, three, four, five. One, one, three, four. See, I did it wrong. See, the master can't even do it, right? How do you guys expect to do it right? One, one, three, four, five. Walk into place. Oh my gosh. Okay, speed round time. If the master, Doug, can do it, how do I expect you guys to do it? Okay, one, two, as fast as you can. Go, one, two, one, two, one, two. Keep the pace up, keep the pace up. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. I'm just kidding, I'm not really the master. Oh, that's it, that's it. Keep that going, keep that going, keep that going, keep that going. Yes, yes, yes. Boom, 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 boom. You got him on the ropes. You got Mr. P, Mr. Parkinson's, he's on the rope. You're knocking him out, you're knocking him out. Goodbye, Mr. P. Get out of here, we didn't, we didn't ask you to come around. Okay, modified jumping jack, here we go. We're almost there again, couple more, just a couple more. You got a little energy, now's the time to keep it going. We're gonna do some speed hooks, speed hooks, let's go. Three, four, three, four, three, four, three, knock him out. Let's knock out Mr. Parkinson's. Mr. P, Mr. P. Three, four, 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 three. Yes, keep it going, looking good. Three, four, three, four. Now watch what I do. Reach, 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 reach. Now that really looks like a 70s dance move. Reaching, reaching. We got one more. We're gonna do our power hooks. I mean our power, sorry, power uppercuts. Go. Five, six, five, six, five, six, five, six, five, six, five, six. Yes, 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 yes. Keep it going. 15 seconds. 15 seconds to glory. 
Yes, five, six, five, six, five, six, five, six, five seconds. Five, six, five, six, five, six, and rest. Woo, well done. Let's give those arms a big. Now I can feel my heart beating. I can feel my temperatures come up. I hope your has, yours has too. Woo, give those arms a big swing up. We're trying to slow things down just a little bit. Just a little bit. Keep those feet moving. Keep those feet moving. Just a little bit. Good. We're going to slide those arms out, reach, twist, slow it down, slow it down, almost like a little Tai Chi. Here we just do a little push, a little push. It's not really Tai Chi, man. Good. Good. And reach up and up. Nice and flowing. Okay. Nice and fluid. That's what we're after. Now take your right arm. We're going to just swing that around just like that. Nice and easy. Your arms are, should be nice and supple. You work the, worked your shoulders and arms a lot here. So you should be able to get a nice big range of motion without too much trouble, I hope. Change direction, please. Bring that around. If that hurts, make it smaller. Don't push through pain. Everybody has, you know, the different capabilities with the stuff. Well done. Other side, big circle if you can, if you can. You might find one arm is easier than the other. I definitely feel more, more on my shoulder. I got some issues with my left shoulder. I took my shoulder to counseling. <laughs> Get it? My shoulder has issues. Uh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. No more singing and a <laughs> terrible joke. So the psychiatrist said, the psychologist said, tell me about your childhood shoulder. My shoulder said, oh, it's been a tough life. Dogs treated me horribly. Other way, it's put me through all kinds of abuse. Anyways. We tend to do that to ourselves, don't we? Put ourselves through abuse. Oh. Now watch this. We're going to put our hands on our knees. And what I want you to do is slide your hands down and then come back up and then open slowly. Again, slide those hands down. Feel it stretching out the back of the legs. Should feel good. I love this one. Please come back up, though. Don't keep going forward. <laughs> That's the last thing I want. Go on. Okay, good. Legs nice and wide. I want to bring those hands together and just reach up. And we're going to tilt all the way over to one side. Remember, when you stop exercising, you don't want to stop, stop, stop. You want to slow it down slowly. You don't want to go from 60 to zero. Let the blood get back out to your, come back to your heart brain because when you work hard you're doing all those boxing moves the blood's flowing out through all of your extremities out to all your working muscles so if you stop too quickly it's not a good thing because you gotta get that blood back where it's needed most your brain and the heart good bring that arm across we're gonna just pull it over like that that nice stretch ah yes it's one of my favorites like I said, shoulders are really involved in the boxing movement. So we want to make sure we stretch them out, prepare them first of all, and then stretch them out at the end. Jesus, my t-shirt looks like an Orange Crush commercial, I tell you. It's not though, it's just a Rock City boxing t-shirt. It looked like an Orange Crush commercial. Very orange. <laughs> Get that stretch, feel that right through the deltoid here. You know, keep the arms straight as you can. I see a lot of people, not, not you guys, but sometimes you see people do this, but you want to keep that arm straight. Not you guys. You guys are perfect, right? You get this right every time. Okay. Now you've still got your chair handy, I hope. We're going to grab your chair. And we always want to make sure that we're stretching our calf muscle, which is this muscle down low behind, the bottom of the leg at the back. So you want to press that heel down and into the ground. Press that heel into the ground. I love this stretch, it feels good. Calf muscles have a tendency to get tight if you're, if you're not very active. I find they, they tighten up. You wanna be able to stretch them out. 
It's really helpful for your walking gait, which in turn helps with your fall prevention. Keep, keep your muscles strong and keep them supple. Now watch here, I'm gonna bend that back knee just a little bit, just a little bit. Feel that stretch go down a little bit lower into your soleus and down towards your Achilles tendon. You're gonna feel that down towards your ankle more. Don't overdo it, don't overdo it, but it's a nice stretch, feel. And let's switch those legs, okay? Press the other leg back, push the heel into the ground. Keep that leg straight as you can. You should be feeling this in the back of the leg down low. Again, this is another one of those, every time you go for a, a nice walk or any kind of exercise, do this at the end. You really wanna stretch out those muscles, especially if you walk in any hills. Walking hills is a lot, a lot more stress on your calf muscles and Achilles, soleus, all those lower extremity muscles. So you wanna make sure you give them a good stretch after a walk and bend that back knee, especially if it's a hilly walk. Okay, now the next one, we're gonna have to get wide. You can, you can put, your, you can put your chair on the front. I'm just gonna put it to the side so you can, see you can have your hands in your chair. And I want you just to push in one direction, keep this leg straight. You're gonna feel that go down through the inner thigh. So it's like all down inside. Don't overdo it. You don't want to pull a muscle there. And the other side, like I say, you can have your hands up in your chair if you need to. Otherwise, you can just do it like I'm doing. It's an option. Just have your hand. I'm just moving my chair so you can see what I'm doing. So one leg is bent. One leg is straight. The straight leg is the one you should be feeling right now. You really feel that stretch going down to the inside. Excellent. Okay, grab that chair. We're gonna sit in our chair. Let's continue with our legs. We're gonna kick a leg up straight, just like this. So I've got my leg down, heels on the ground. Put your hand on your knee, slide it down. You're gonna follow behind it until you feel a lovely stretch in behind, <laughs> lovely stretch. Feel it in behind the, the back of the leg. Now, if you're a little more flexible than me, you can Oh, you can grab that toe. And it's okay if your knee bends a little bit, as long as you still feel the stretch, okay? We get hung up on, oh my, my gosh, my knee's bent a bit. Doesn't matter as long as you feel that stretch. Everybody's different. Everybody's different. Which is a good thing. Life would be pretty boring if we're all the same, wouldn't it? Nice stretch. Let's change that leg over. The other side, slowly down. Take your time with the stretch. is such an important one. I always start off just having my hand on my shin, and then after well, maybe 10 seconds, I can feel it straight le lengthening out, so I can usually get down a little farther and try to grab my toe. See, my leg isn't totally straight. That's okay. I've, I've got very... Tight hamstrings, I always have, probably always will. So it's, it's really important that I stretch it. So I'm thankful for these classes. It gives me an excuse to stretch my hamstrings. <laughs> I need it. Now, sitting nice and tall, we're gonna walk those knees out as wide as you can. Take your hands and push, push your knees apart. Lean forward until you feel that stretch go down through your groin. The muscle, it doesn't get stretched very often. So it's good to do that. So keep your back straight though. Don't, don't try to keep your posture tall still as you lean forward. Stretch that out, stretch that out. Okay, 
Okay, sitting back up tall. Hands up in front. We're gonna pull back, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Just like that. Now bring your arm up. And we're gonna push that back. One set. Good. Stretch that tricep back. Closer. You can always do it like this too. If you can't get that hand up, that's okay. Just do your best. This is a tough one for a lot of folks. Sometimes we only get like maybe this far up, but that's okay. It doesn't matter as long as you feel that stretch. It's time to change arms. Bring it up. I like to do this, just kind of bend, pat myself on the back and then come up and just give that a little extra. But if you've got shoulder issues, it often shows up with this particular stretch, like I say, but don't, don't worry. If you, even if you can only get it this high, just do that, give that little push. Just like that, right? So it doesn't have to be perfect. Not important. Good, very nice. Just a little shrug up and down. Shrug up and down. Well done, everybody. Turn your microphones back on if you know how to do that. Go ahead and just unmute yourself for a second here. You guys should be experts in this by now. Julie really is. Yeah, now I can hear them coming in. All right, we're gonna do a little rock steady cheer here at the end. So you're gonna put your virtual hands in and you're gonna do a virtual, whoops. Hang on, I lost you there. Do a virtual cheer. So hands in just like this, okay? So we're all standing in a circle here. You're gonna repeat after me, okay? All right. We're rock steady. We're rock steady. Tried and true. Tried and true. Punch Mr. P. Punch Mr. P. Billy's black and blue. On three. One, two, three, rock steady. Thank you, Doug. Thank you. Have a beer on me. Congrats. Thank you for your uh, wonderful thoughts, you guys. I appreciate it. Yeah. Take care. Bye, Mr. Thank you. Thank you.